Hey guys, we're going to be looking at a specific Unity tutorial today, and this is going to be for C Sharp, and we're going to be looking at and we're going to be looking at a coroutine. Now, a coroutine is something where if you um, need to do a set of instructions, normally if you call a method within Unity in C Sharp, it will run line by line until it's finished, and that's all it does. There's no there's no way to pause it. There's no way to do anything. Now, if we add a coroutine, it allows us to pause exe execution at one point, give control back to Unity until we tell it otherwise and then it will continue the execution afterwards from where it left off um, based on the amount of time that we might have asked it to pause for, for instance. So it's a really nice way that if you have some lines of code and you need to stop it running for a certain amount of time, say if you're playing an animation or you want to do something after a few seconds, then that's what you can do. So I'll start off giving you an example. So in your project panel, you can right click, create a new C Sharp script, and you can call this coroutine. And then when you're in Visual Studio or whatever you may be in, there's just a few things that you need to remember that say we've got something and we've got our own method which might be called let's say for instance we've got one called hide object and we in this hide object we want some things to happen we want um, an object to be set active so we want it to be turned off after a certain amount of time so we could just um, realistically write in square brackets to the top serialize field private game object <clears throat> and we could call this box for instance so let's say that box is active at the start and we want to turn it off but we don't want it to turn off straight away we want it to only happen when we specify so we can do something normally we'd write void before the um, name of the method but because void doesn't return a value we want to be able to give control back to unity so we write a type called a enumerator and that allows us to do a um, simple yield command which will allow us to pause where we want uh, do something within, within unity and then go and execute the lines after we've done that little pause so it's a really nice way to do it so what we can do is we can say that yield return new and then after the re yield return new we can say wait for seconds and then we can specify after three seconds then what we could do is we could say that box dot set active and then is false and that's fantastic that's great now this uh, method will never be executed because we're not telling it how to be executed so you could potentially do it in the start method or something like that or in the update method if you press a key then it might do it or if you go over a trigger event then it might do it but I'll just put it in start to make it obvious so we'll put void start with two brackets and then cut two curly brackets below and then what we need to do to actually make a coroutine actually work with this type here is that we need to start by writing start coroutine because normally if we were calling any other normal method we could just say hide object like this but it won't work because it doesn't understand what it needs to do so what we can do is in start coroutine we just almost do the same thing we're just going to actually specify the method in here just as we would normally so all you need to do is you write start coroutine and inside your brackets you're going to write the name of your method and then you're going to put a semicolon on the end so that tells you as soon as that we start the game we're going to start the coroutine here we're going to wait three seconds and then we're going to turn our box off now if i go into unity and i go to my first person controller as just an example i'd coroutine to this and i can see i need to make myself a box so i'll go game object 3D object and I'll just create myself a cube and what I'll do is I will go back on my FPS controller and I'll drag the cube into there and what we expect is like I said we'll start the game we'll drop in we'll wait an amount of seconds and then there it disappeared after three seconds and obviously we could create a simple variable at the top serialized field we could say private integer timer let's say and then we could put timer into this box here and then we can specify how long we should wait before we actually do decide to move to us to the next thing that we want to do so i could do this for 10 seconds i could drop in and it will wait for the amount of time that's required roughly around 10 seconds and after 10, the 10 seconds it expired it will shut our just turn off the game object that we've got and you can see in the top corner here 
that the box or the cube has now disappeared. So this is an extremely simple way just to, you know, depending what functionality you're trying to achieve in your game, you can quite easily just write coroutines around it. You can do the more complex to do uh, more complex functionality, but this is just the basis of being able to create a coroutine, create a simple timer, do things before or after because you can do anything before or after. You can have as many coroutines as you want and all you need to do is you need to say start coroutine with the um, method name and then just make sure that your um, the type of your method is an enumerator just so that it understands what it needs to do. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this helps you out. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.